Hello, all my subscribers. Back to another stuff camper video. Just out for the weekend. It is Friday, May 8th today. I'm on the opposite side of the lake to where I normally go camping here in town. And it looks like a pretty good area. Let me see if I can show you guys around a little bit. Just to give you a pan. A little more heavily wooded than the other area I was in. As well as, I don't think, being as populated. Like, uh, not too many people come through this area over here, so it should work out a lot better. I should be able to hide myself a lot easier. And, got everything already set up. I showed you guys in the last video pretty much how I set things up, so I wasn't going to go through that again. But I do have a new pack this time. It's the Army Ranger Field Pack. And that damn thing is heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy on this trip. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got going on for now. I'll try and do a video later and show you guys something else that's going on right here. Good morning, everyone. I didn't feel like doing another video yesterday. I ended up getting tired and taking a nap and just relaxing and enjoying it. Enjoying my time out here. Saw a couple of deer, not too many, and uh, this morning I got to see a fox when I first woke up. That was pretty nice. I just barely saw him as he was walking 20, 25 yards away from the campsite. Let's see if I can find it. Oh. Right over there, that's where the campsite is. But I decided to take you guys for a walk through the woods with me today and we'll see if we can find anything. Seems like it's raining a little bit, but I'm not gonna let that spoil my fun. I'll be right back when I switch the camera around. Okay, here we are. Deer hoof prints right here in the mud. Those are from yesterday. And you find these all over back here in these deer runs. A lot of times they'll lead you to a good spot. Or it could lead you to a spot where they cross water and you cannot cross. I've never done this on one of my videos, so I decided what the heck. I'll take you guys for a walk through the area where I'm at. Getting kind of close to the railroad tracks of the factories now. Another deer run. Two actually. That's about it. I'm not too far from a warehouse right now and the railroad tracks, so I'm not going to go any further and show you guys something that might 
give away the classified location I'm at right now. But yeah, it's a pretty nice little area. I'm on the opposite side of where I would normally be. A lot of dead trees all over. A lot of storm damage from past couple hurricanes. A lot of birds back here. Just on the other side of those tall brown grasses right there is the lake that I camp around. I wonder how far I could get or how close I could get to it to try and show you guys before it gets too wet. Yeah, it's already starting to get Look, soggy. You see a little bit of the water right there. A little swampy. But just on the other side of that is where the clear water is and it's pretty nice. It's a really nice area back here. And yes, it is definitely raining. I'm starting to get a little wet here. So I will end this walk in the woods. back to my camp and try to get into the tarp so I stay dry <laughs> I didn't bring a lot of extra clothes with me it was supposed to be nice this weekend with just a slight chance of rain that slight chance turned into a little bit more than a slight chance Just to give you guys the view, that's what I see when I wake up and I roll out of the hammock. I'm going to end this video now, and I will update maybe later on today. This probably won't be a long video for this video, for, 
this stealth camping trip, but I'm just not up to it. I'm more into the relaxing on this trip. It's been a hard couple of months at work right now, so I'm pretty much just going to relax out here. How's it going, everybody? Just figured I would do an update on the second day afternoon. It, I told you guys earlier it was raining, like kind of a little bit. Well, it really rained since then. I went to sleep for a little bit, took a little nap, and I woke up and the ground is soaked. It must have rained pretty good for a little while, except my double wing tarp. Underneath the double wing tarp, as you can see right here, sobbing wet. Nice and bone dry. Everything's all dry. Hammock's all nice and dry. Cordage. Everything under here is dry. All the rest out there is all wet. We'll move that one side up for now. Just to help the water shed off a little bit further away from where I'm at. And this side I lowered a little bit so that the water would run off a little bit better because it was kind of, I guess you could say, almost level. And the water was sitting on it for a while and then it would just run off in a random spot. So I tried to lower it a little bit, weighed it down with a stick, hopefully bring the water more towards this end and just keep it going. But yeah, that's where we're at. Was fell on these slick roots. Just figured I'd do a quick little video to show you guys what happens when it rains and how my setup is pretty daggone good. I really like the diamond double wing formation. It sheds a lot of water and keeps the area below really dry. So, it's the uh, end of my second day here, second night. Enjoyed my trip out here. Had a lot of fun. Slept pretty good. Definitely a lot more comfortable than a sleeping bag versus a wool blanket. Just decided to show you guys the fire I have going on. I didn't feel like doing another video on how I get a fire started. This one went really quick and easy. Boom. With the flint striker, quick and easy. Done deal. Just wanted to end this video. I'll probably do a, you know, a recap in the morning, but just wanted to do a little thing here at night and show you guys the campfire that I'm hanging out by. My little Coleman lantern. I don't know if I've ever shown that lit. That's what that looks like. And yeah, I'll be getting ready for bed soon. It's about 9 o'clock. Pretty dark out here right now. Almost time for bed. So I can get up early and get out of here in the morning. Just a redneck Robin Hood Hey, I'm living good Back in the woods Less than a mile or so